We live in a time where things have been made relatively easy. You can learn on the go, you can have access to resources, and you don't have to bug your brain with trying to recall all the necessary information by itself. So today, let's get into these 10 mobile apps that will make your training and your practice for those who are in the early stage of their medical practice super easy. Stick with me to the end to find out these 10 apps. The first on my list is the MediCalc. Now this is an application that helps you with formulas, equations, and everything surrounding that to significantly help you with the accuracy that you have when you have to compute drugs and things of that nature. Especially for those of you who are doing your pediatric posting, you will notice that you have to calculate it, that fluid measurement, you have to give some drugs and there are specific things that they would have you measure drop factor drop rate and all of those things even for some of you who also get to do the glomerular filtration rate calculation you would also find this app useful now those are just to mention but a few but the list is actually endless so you'll find this application useful if you're somewhere in the class where you do pathology and pharmacology in your school and also majorly for those in the clinical classes of medical school everything everything you will need all the formulas the equations and another super factor is the fact that this app also comes with unit conversion so you know sometimes you finally arrived at a particular figure or maybe you have to divide by 3600 multiply by a figure 0. Point whatever now you don't have to stress yourself with all of those details this app will do everything for you seamlessly so where will you find it you'll find this application on the app store you'll find it on the play store and guess what it's absolutely free there are no charges you have everything free of charge so i recommend this app it's something you should check out i'm running off my pediatric posting as an intern currently and this is an app that has come in handy in those particular times where maybe i'm on call and oh well the brain is kind of fagged out and then i have to revalidate a particular calculation i've done the app comes in super useful so you want to check out the medical app Number two on my list is Prognosis. Now, this is a common app. Essentially, um, it will be useful for those of you who are in preclinicals who are very determined and want to apply knowledge. And for those of you also in the clinical classes that you want to keep sharpening your clinical acumen. So the offers here that it comes with, it gives you case scenarios where you'd have to make a diagnosis, state your perhaps management plan, the investigations you want to do, and any other intervention measures. Now, it cuts across the different specialties in internal medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, name them, nephrology, cardiology, pulmonology, everything. You have it within the space. Now, the extra benefit is sometimes they give this background interactions with medical practitioners i mean live medical practitioners where you can do real-time world cases based on the updates that come in daily and it goes beyond just the routine that you have on the app now when you join when you download this app the first time you would see most of the cases are free but however for the more complex ones that would re really benefit you you might have to pay for them but even with the free ones you are largely good to go in case you don't want to bother about paying for the extra ones but even with the free ones you are largely good to go so prognosis is an application that i would definitely recommend for everyone who wants to go the extra mile in terms of knowledge application prognosis i used it in my year five yes and then also partly in my year six and it's really nice beyond giving you the answers eventually yeah i have to mention they also score you in some instances you get a score to know how well you fed and they give you explanation to those answers why their answers are that way now we know that um beyond your ability to recall an answer or beyond your ability to know what an answer is it's always best in medicine to be able to defend your stance and this is something that the prognosis application would always offer you the third on my list is MDEX. Now, this is like a drug reference list. It's meant to be a resource for you to get access to and find clinical information about drug dosages and everything related to drugs. The special things you would enjoy from this would include classified drugs into both the generic names, the brand names, the drug interactions, the particular dosages, you know, and everything. Wherever you are, wherever you're having your practice in the world, whether in Africa or other continents of the world, MDEX would always come in handy. You know, sometimes you're interacting with your seniors in the medical team and there's this confusion about a drug dosage. Not because you guys are not familiar with the particular dose, but maybe the patient has a special condition that you don't want to give 
a certain high dose for this is an app that will tell you the dose for different categories different conditions everything different age groups it comes in super useful so and then also you have the plus you don't have to bug your brain with trying to remember everything all by itself you have this on your hands and then you have your drug companion on the go it's free it's available on the play store it's also available on the app store so once you get to the clinical phase of your medical school it's an application that you want to have on your phone more so for those of you who are early career medical practitioners it's super useful currently as an intern i have it yes with time you get familiar with most of the drug dosages but sometimes you might want to prescribe a drug that you don't typically prescribe it's a sure banker to give you something accurate and you will not be led astray so yes get the mdex app on the app store or on the play store for the android users now eponym now we I guess we know what eponyms talk about is these disease conditions that are named after people we have a host of them down syndrome cruzon syndrome edwards syndrome you name them all through your medical education you'll be finding diseases like that that are named after persons now beyond knowing the names it's important that you also know what these conditions are and everything surrounding them their pathophysiology the clinical features the management you know and all of that so this application help solve that problem i mean accurately gives you everything about all of these conditions and you just have it on your handset anytime you have to make reference to it it's there with you so you have all the details and you can find it on the app store you can also find it on the play store it is free absolutely free no charges nothing no in-app purchases all of those things are absent in this case or you have all you need with the eponyms app for any condition almost well let me not say any condition but almost any condition you can think of you will find it in the eponym application now daily rounds this is an interesting application for those of you who want to stay afloat with current medical cases in the world i mean globally you get updates every day i mean every single day of new cases coming from different countries based on the particular specialty that you're interested in so if you're interested in anesthesiology you're interested in pediatrics you're interested in cardiology whatever the case is surgery you would find cases that are aligned with that your field of interest new cases every day in addition to this you also have an ecg ecg guide they have a drug collection where you can get more information about different drugs they also have a radiographic investigation interpretation kind of guide where you can interpret chest x-rays and other things that are carried out in the form of radiographs so it's something you want to have and also there is a health team of medical doctors nurses and other health professionals at the background who you can interact with and you can have queries confusions as regards maybe why a diagnosis was made why a particular treatment modality was instituted you have all of them at the background so in the discussion panel you can actually go ahead and have these discussions is this app free of charge yes it's free of charge in most instances there might be one or two things for you to pay but then largely 70 percent of the time you won't have to bother with those extra resources you can find this application on the google play store you can also find it on the app store so again depending on how much you want to go for those who are in preclinicals and you already want to start putting the knowledge you're acquiring to use it will come in handy for you and i mean my clinical guys definitely you'll find this app useful to help you sharpen your clinical acumen and your IQ. Now Medscape, this is arguably the most popular app that is common amongst medical students and doctors. I got it's going to be useful for everyone. A hint, while I was in preclinicals, I actually started using Medscape and when I was writing my theory or the essay exams, I usually add stuff from Medscape and it was part of the reasons why I always had a robust essay writing and I usually got almost all the marks when it came to theoretical exams. So Medscape is going to come in handy. And Medscape is like this all-encompassing guy. You have drugs, you have disease conditions, you have their management, you have everything. I mean, literally everything at your fingertip. You find Medscape on the App Store, you find it on the Play Store. You can either decide to have an online access which means it will have it will eat up less space on your device whether your laptop or your phone or your tablet but if you're going with the offline access you have to download all the catalog and may just run into some gigabytes but by and large medscape is a super useful app it's still currently it's still on my phone currently i make use of it till date even when you have to make presentations medscape is a good reference point 
things keep changing and they keep making updates as regards everything everything that you would need sometimes they have live podcasts for those of you who are extra motivated again and you want to engage in live interactions ask questions to help professionals across the globe they have this live podcast avenues where medical practitioners just come on interact and do what they know how to do best so medscape is an application i would definitely recommend whether you're in your clinical years or you're in preclinical years it's something that you should go for now brainscape you know i've uploaded videos on space repetition and active recall now this is one application that is like flashcards on steroids you know i've told you that flashcard comes in both ways whether you're doing active recall or space repetition flashcard will be helpful in both instances now active recall because you can just look at the flashcard and then you flip on the posterior side of it and you see the answer and then space repetition you can decide how often and how frequent you want to review those flashcards and this application takes care of that for you they did it in a such a wonderful way that you won't have to bother about um, all of those other details so brainscape is called flashcard on steroids now it's an application that will help you both with space repetition and active recall as you're going through your medical school training remember i've uploaded two videos on that and active recall just talks about the fact that you can use the flashcard to have the question in front and then on the posterior aspect you look at the answer while for the space repetition you decide how frequent you want to actually be reviewing this flashcard and this app experts medical people around the world they've developed actually a good number of flashcards for most of the conditions already and it comes with the plus of you being able to generate your own flashcards you can share with your friends you can have accountability partners online across the globe so you imagine that and then based on how well you answer some of the questions there's an automated system to help you determine how frequent you should review some of these flashcards now it comes in both the free and the paid form some of the features will be free to you when you're just joining but by and large most of the features will you'll have full access to when you actually pay for the app do i recommend it yes totally i recommend brainscape it can be synchronized across all your devices your tablet your phone your laptop so you find it on the app store you also find it on the play store so brainscape is something i definitely recommend now osmosis med if you're the type of student that you're interested in learning from videos now osmosis med they've done a significantly exceptional job when it comes to video lectures i mean ranging from anatomy to physiology to biochemistry to pathology to pharmacology histology cutting across all the basic medical sciences and the basic clinical sciences courses osmosis med they've done justice and they go ahead to also give you international style questions for those of you who want to prepare for usmle and they also have room to create flashcards to help aid your learning and helping the recall some of the videos when you just download the app you'll find some of them free but for a good number of them you would have to pay to assess them and it's definitely worth it i know students who are making use of osmosis med and trust me they are having the time of their lives those things that you've been breaking your head over trying to understand by yourself from your books you just have someone come online make a video on it and that's it boom you have complete understanding and that takes care of all your needs so osmosis med is an application i definitely recommend now medical terminology learning quiz remember in the video that i talked about that should be speed reading where i talked about vocabulary coming into play in how fast you can read because if you do not understand the words that you're looking at you might have to be checking them up or trying to find out the meaning and that can significantly reduce your reading your reading speed so this is like a medical dictionary where as you're reading any word you come across that you really don't know the meaning you can just go on it check it you have it offline access so you may not really have to bother about having your data on you just go there you check the meaning of the word and you continue your reading and this is going to be super useful to you irrespective of which state of your medical education you're in now whether you're in the preclinical classes or you're in the clinical classes you would always have a need to review terminologies whether the ones that you were once familiar with and you've forgotten or the ones you're getting to know newly or in recent times so the medical terminology learning quiz it's highly recommended it is completely free if you're using an iphone you find it on the app store you're using an android phone you find it on the play store highly recommended you should check it out now geeky medics 
I found out about Geekimedic sometime in my fifth year when we were getting into the clinical program in depth and objective short clinical exams is something that is new to a large extent at least where we trained and I I didn't want to be working on tiptoes when it came to the OSCE I needed to know what I was getting into so I kept researching how do I go about this how do I navigate this and key medics was everything I needed you know all the components of the OSCE exam history taking physical examination counseling procedures data interpretation geeky medics takes care of everything and they keep updating new videos new stuff updating their pdfs their checkoffs they have checklists for you that you can download and use in practicing with your accountability partner and it just takes care of everything concerning the oscars you find them on youtube also they have videos on clinical examination history taking some of the counseling stations as well so this will be particularly useful to those who are in their clinical classes and you're preparing for your objective structural clinical exams or any other form of exam depending on where you're training whether the traditional pattern that still has some bits of all of all of these things incorporated into enjoyment purposes i would recommend that you pay for it i paid for a year subscription that was in my fifth year and in my final year as well in medical school and it was always useful every time I, we got to practice either in a group setting or with my ex clinical skills partner we always found their checkoffs useful and it matched the checkoff for my training program 80 percent of the time there were just a few additions here and there so quickly medics is an application i would definitely recommend for those of you in your clinical classes of medical school now there you go you have it the 10 super mobile applications i recommend to you if you want to make your medical school training program significantly easier and also to have learning on the go available to you whether you're traveling wherever you find yourself you could always assess information if you're having doubts trying to make a decision for some of this app they will clarify for you like the mdex and the host of all of them so i recommend them Get them on the App Store, get them on the Play Store, on your laptop as well. You can synchronize across devices. And there you have it. I'll see you on Sunday by 12 p.m. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and also hit the subscribe button. And turn, off, turn on notifications because you'll be hearing from me again on Sunday by 12 p.m. Thank you.